Hello everyone, my name is Patrick Launer. I work on the detection of electricity theft using machine learning. I will tell you in a moment what electricity theft is. But first of all, I want to tell you that I work for Radu Starte in Sedan Lab of SNT. Uh, we collaborate with Choice Technologies, so thank you to Choice for being here today. And we're being funded by the FNR, so thank you very much for the funding. What is electricity theft? It happens all over the world. For example, people manipulate meters or other infrastructure like transformers outside with the goal of getting electricity for free. It's a particular issue in emerging markets, for example, Brazil, India, Pakistan, and so forth. And uh, there, this can range about 40% of the electricity distributed. When I saw that number for the first time, I thought it's a typo, but the number is actually correct. If you express that in a monetary amount, you get to about 100 billion US dollars per year um, that the utilities lose all over the world. So it's a tremendous amount of money that the utilities lose due to theft. Uh, you could buy 20 aircraft carriers with that amount of money. Remember, the US has 10 in production so it's a tremendous amount of money that gets lost all around the world by the utilities. In our research project, we work on detecting electricity theft. We get a number of uh, different data from the utilities through choice technologies, for example, consumption of customers, but also other data like the result of known or the, the results of inspections when inspections were carried out of customers. And then we use machine learning in order to learn what makes fraud from the data. So we have consumption data and other data. We figure out the patterns. It's very hard to describe what makes fraud. But machine learning allows us to learn this from data. And then we can use these patterns to predict for the other customers if they should be inspected or not. Because we want to optimize the return on investment. Each inspection costs money. So we do that, and um, as Christine mentioned before, um, I have some expertise in machine learning. I worked before at CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research. I worked there on machine learning, and I also graduated with a master's in machine learning from Imperial College. And I contribute that experience to this project. Um, our work was published in a number of papers, but our work was also covered in The New Scientist last year. The New Scientist is a major science magazine. And our work was also cited by McKinsey in a big study on AI. If you're interested in the market potential of AI, you should check this McKinsey study. It's a very big study, about 100 pages. And they also have a section on utilities where we were covered. But aside from publishing all of that, which is nice to have, even more important, our industry partner is very happy with our results. Our results are being used in production, generating profit and revenue, so utilities can reduce the theft. And that's even more rewarding. And that's the advantage of S&T. We not only do theoretical work that we publish in papers, we also deliver by working on real data. And if you are from utilities or from finance, insurance, whatever, you may deal with fraud. Fraud happens all over. And I work in Sedan Lab, of, which is headed by Radu Starte. And Sedan Lab has developed an expertise around the fraud detection for the last few years. We have projects in utilities and finance and so forth. And the good thing is these models can be applied to other problems too. So if you have a fraud detection or anomaly detection problem, talk to us today at Sedan Lab. We can help you. Thank you very much.